Hi, I'm Tazza Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a waterless body wash. Water makes up 70% or more of a foaming formula. This makes it much bigger, heavier and expensive to ship. A lot of water gets used during production with standard liquid cleansers and there's also the risk of leaking when traveling. Now there are some cons when it comes to waterless foaming powder products. The concentrated surfactant form needs a carrier and mild surfactants. It also needs to have good slip, skin, feel on application. It needs to have foam instantly when water added and there also needs to be no clumping once water has been added for easy spread. Now let me show you how easy it is to put it together. Okay, so firstly I have here is my mica. So this is a plain white mica cosmetic grade. This is gonna help give it um, a nice slip and then also help it to spread. Now to this I am gonna be adding a couple of powdered surfactants here. So my first one is the Hostapon SCI 85P and this is a isothionate. So this is quite a mild anionic surfactant. This is gonna help with cleansing or cleaning and also with foam. Now my next surfactant here, this is also another quite gentle and mild anionic surfactant. So this is the Cola Mate LA. So this is gonna help with also boosting the foam, making sure it, it foams quite well when water is added. Um, it's also gonna make it more mild. Now next I'm gonna be adding some tapioca starch. Again, this is gonna help with the skin feel and the spread on the skin. So this is gonna help it give really nice slip. It's also gonna create a nice soft, um, gentle body wash that's gonna glide easily over the skin. It's also gonna help make the body wash a bit more mild as well, a bit more gentler on the skin. And lastly, I'm gonna go in and add some guar gum here. So this is the Active Soft S, and this is also gonna help with slip uh, mildness and give it a really nice skin feel. It's also going to help condition the skin as well. Now we are just going to give this a gentle stir. So one of the things with waterless body washes, these are really cool and fantastic for travel. They're also quite sustainable because there's no water in production. They're pretty easy to put together as well. And also great for travel as well. If you're traveling overseas or even interstate, you don't have to worry about a body wash spilling or leaking everywhere. It's in powder form. So all you have to do is just add a little bit of water into your hand with a bit of powder and rub your hands together and then it foams really well and then you can lather it all over your body. Now in a body wash, you do want really good slip because there's such a large volume of skin that the body wash has to spread over. It's not really like a facial cleanser, you need a bit more slip. So that's why we've added the starch and also the gua, um, because that's gonna help it glide over a large area of skin. You do wanna use mild surfactants as well. Um, so this, is, this would be really good as a family body wash as well, because you know, kids can be using it. You can't adjust the pH of these formulas during production, but it's good to check the final pH by preparing a 5-10% to dilution of finished product as this would mimic consumer use. Okay, so now that we've mixed that all together, as usual, we're just going to uh, cover it and leave that sit overnight. We do want to look for any signs of instability the next day, so we'll leave that sit for 24 hours and come back and have a look at it. Okay, and here is what my body wash is looking like the next day. Now, there's no signs of instability here. It's held together really nice. There's nothing separating. So it's looking pretty stable. Now, I do want to show you how well it foams. So I'm going to put a little bit in my hand. And I've got a bit of water here. foaming really well. It's got a really nice soft and smooth slip to it. And notice how there's no clumps of powder left behind as well. It all dissolves really easily with a bit of water added to it. It's got a really nice creamy foam as well. Really nice soft skin feel. 
Well, there you go. That's how super easy it is to make a waterless body wash. Great for sustainability and also for travel. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.